When I said that, and I and I and I questioned the death of George Floyd, it hurt my people. It hurt the black people. So I want to apologize to hurt them because right now God has shown me by what Adidas is doing and by what by what the media is doing, I know how it feels to have a knee on my neck now. So I thank you, God, for humbling me and letting me know how it really felt. There you have Kanye West, who until very recently was uh, dealing with multiple lucrative business deals and uh, still till this day has no idea what it's like to have uh, a police officer's knee on his neck. But nonetheless, uh, he is really stretching to make himself out to be uh, oppressed, which I just find fascinating uh, and this of course follows his uh, pretty gross statements about George Floyd who was murdered by a cop named Derek Chauvin. He was convicted of murdering George Floyd and now sits in prison as a result. Uh, but Kanye West had claimed that George Floyd uh, died of a drug overdose, not because of the fact that he was murdered by a cop. And so his family, George Floyd's family has now filed a lawsuit uh, to the tune of $250 million. And it's a defamation lawsuit following Kanye's statements about the fentanyl overdose. Now, West addressed his recent anti Semitic comments, simply saying he didn't realize he was being anti Semitic at all. He had no idea that the terrible anti Semitic tropes he was spewing were offensive and incredibly dangerous. So let's hear him address that. I didn't realize that I could be considered anti-Semitic till I read one of the definitions of anti-Semitism. Isn't that what you said? That Jews run everything? Yeah, but that actually is considered to be anti-Semitic. Right. So I didn't realize that it was anti-Semitic to say, hey, you know, I have a Jewish attorney, I have a Jewish <laughs> record label, I have a Jewish contractor. There's more. Uh, I just I don't I don't know what to do with this guy. Waz, you want to jump in? Look, I, I don't want to defend Kanye, but, but I need viewers Kanye. to understand. No, no, no. <laughs> it's not about defending Kanye because Kanye is a different case. Like he likes to say stuff. He wants to get reactions out of people. He likes to court controversy. He's doing this stuff on purpose. Like Kanye, we can take Kanye out of this, but specifically black people, especially because you know I seen Kyrie Irving say some stupidity that got him like mm -hmm. super, super jammed up. Uh, more recently, a lot of people don't understand that black, a lot of black people don't get anti Semitism. They don't understand how saying that Jewish people do well for themselves is racist. Because when people want to say racist things about black people, they say they're poor. Uh, they don't understand how calling Jewish people good with money racist. They don't understand how that could be racist because when people want to say racist things about black people, they say they're frivolous with money. They don't understand how when you say, you know, Jewish people, they stick together with their community. That's racist. Because what people will say about black people is that they don't solve their own problems and that they don't stick together, is that and that they kill each other. So for a lot of black people, these things that are um considered anti-Semitic, it becomes confusing because it's literally the exact opposite of what people say black people are messing up as to say racist things about them. So a lot of times these cats, they get confused. They don't understand, they don't know the history of the Jewish people going back literally thousands of years, especially in Europe, where literally every single place that they've ever been, folks have hated on them, killed them, persecuted them, and they had to flee that persecution. Like they don't know this history. They just know all of these things that people say black people are at a deficit of. They see Jewish people doing well at it and can't understand that if you say, well, Jewish people, you know, they're quite influential in a lot of important industries. Like they don't understand how that can be seen as a bad thing because they don't know the history of these folks, right? And so, yeah, Kanye is an idiot. Um, <laughs> he really <laughs> thinks controversy sells and that's what he chases. And so he knows what he's doing. But a lot of folks don't, really, I'm telling you. Well, I think, look, I think you provide an important perspective and insight. And I, I never thought about it that way. And I can understand why some 
might get confused about why certain anti-Semitic tropes happen to be anti-Semitic tropes. I get that. At the same time, I think Kanye knows full well that what he's saying is incredibly dangerous, is anti-Semitic because he's not just saying like, "Oh, Jewish people are doing well for themselves. That's great." No, he's literally referring to them as like puppet masters. And it's the oldest anti-Semitic trope that they control everything. And in in mm-hmm. subsequent comments, he talked about his bipolar disorder and kind of made it seem like there was a conspiracy by Jewish doctors to like misdiagnose him or something. So let me get to that mm-hmm. part of the story. Kanye said his mental health issues were misdiagnosed by a Jewish doctor that would have had me on medication right now. If I was on medication right now, then one pill could have been swapped out and it would have been Prince or Michael Jackson all over again. So he genuinely thinks like they're out to kill him. But because I didn't take the medication, I am able to speak to you guys clear of thought. Well, he definitely is clear of thought and transparently, he says. Uh, so. No, there's no confusion there. Like he thinks there's a conspiracy by Jewish doctors to intentionally misdiagnose him with bipolar disorder so they can slip him a lethal what cyanide pill? I don't I what? And he needs to be on his medication. Let's just keep it real. His erratic behavior, he might think, "Oh, the controversy is great in terms of getting my name in headlines and people paying attention to me, but he lost every business deal." He's destroyed his entire career by spewing all this nonsense and refusing to take the medication that he clearly needs for his condition. Yeah, uh, just to be clear, of course, like Kanye's only saying this stuff about Jewish people because he knows it's messed up. Like he knows that it will get attention. He knows that people's feelings will be hurt by it. And he thinks he should be able to rile people up in whatever um, way that he deems necessary to him. It's, you know, I've made all this money for all these people. I should be untouchable, which, you know, instead of like, yo, I'm untouchable now, let me like, I don't know, speak up for some actually marginalized people. No, Kanye is like, no, let me say some messed up things about Jewish people. And again, it's no different than the um than the Make America Great Again hat. It's just Kanye being like, I don't see why I can't wear this hat. You know, he knows that it hurts people's feelings. He kind of understands the the signal mm-hmm. of what that hat means to a lot of people, particularly black people and brown people. Uh, when you consider how hateful Trump's campaign and racist flat out his campaign was, and and you know a lot of the uh, aspects of his presidency were, Kanye is literally he's saying this stuff because he knows it's messed up. There's there's no other reading on what Kanye is doing. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges, you've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.